in this video, I'm going to be staining obviously breaking my phone. My sister bought a bookcase, the Billy bookcase from Ikea. Cool thing about this bookcase is that you can buy more than one and add as many as you want and it will still look very cool and like chic. We're staining it and so come learn a couple of things with me and maybe get to work. So basically my room theme is like white, my desk is white, my bed sheet is like blue. So that's why I don't really want like a color because it wouldn't really match. I just want to change a bit so that there's a bit of contrast in the room. So this stain has polyurethane and stain so she doesn't have to apply the pol polyurethane after. <laughs> it's hard to say polyurethane many times. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand every single piece down with the 60 grit sandpaper. With grit and sandpaper, the lower the number, the more rough and coarse it is. You can kind of see the difference between how rough this looks. This is 60, this is 220. And I'm gonna finish that today. Tomorrow, I will start staining it using the same things as the other video. The stain applicator pads and this time I'm using Verithane, stain and polyurethane water-based in between those i then go in with the 120. this is a pack of two. Oh, it's 220 okay i was wrong the two pack was 667 one was 417. if you buy these sponges you can reuse them so you can soak them in water to take out all those small residue or dust and leave it to dry and then reuse it obviously it'll eventually wear out this is the stain, you see? I just dipped it in and just stain it. The next day. Good morning. It's not morning. It's much afternoon. As long as we start working. I'm gonna have to go in and for sure sand it down with 220. On some of them, there are spots like this. So as you can see over here, there's a buildup. Just like that. Just so that the layer over it can give it better hold. That's basically what I'm doing with all of them. Mistakes like this is what might bother someone like me and might not bother someone like my sister. Thank God this one came in a pack of two. What is most important when you look at these things is that you added something to it and it looks nicer in your space. So if you do make mistakes, it's okay. You learn for next time. Looks like there's coffee. Now we go back to our stain. I'm gonna use the new one. One eternity later. Okay fam, so we're done with the staining. I can take this off now. My hand is sweating. So I'm gonna wait until it dries and then I'm gonna take them all upstairs and start building it. Yay! The Billy bookcase came in two boxes and with two manuals. This is the manual for this piece. It's added to the top of what you already built. So I'm just gonna build this first. When you're drilling these in, birch veneer is very, very delicate. So you might see a little crack. Make sure this is 90 degrees ankle. Ankle? Ankle with this. Oh my god, this is the wrong way. <laughs> uh. I really, really like it. Thank you. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe because we worked really hard on this. And I love the outcome. I love it. I love it. Honestly, this is a space saver. Oh my god, it's already like full. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more. I love building things as you can see and sweating through my hat. I post videos every Sunday, so make sure to hit that bell notification button because if you don't, then please you don't won't get that. No, 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 no. Don't say notification button. No, notification button. Please hit the notification bell button because if you don't, you won't get a notification common sense. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. I'll see you next week.
I'm Jupiter. <laughs> Me and is becoming a YouTuber. Woo! S S Assalamu alaikum. I post every videos. Uh, I post every videos. <laughs> <laughs>